Bye, Bye Florence. Holy shit. <laughs> Lunchtime, so I got an ice water. One thing that I'm like so happy to be back in America is just to have ice and water. Anyways, I'm picking up my cord now for graduation. Graduating with honors, I have two cords, blue and yellow. Okay, I told you that I really wanted a hash brown, and <laughs> Did it was out. didn't work out. So we're at Franklin's now, which was the very first place that I ever came when I toured Kent. And I usually come here and I get a caprese, which is funny because I would love this because it's so different than anything else I eat. Like it's like tomato, pesto, prosciutto, and mozzarella. And I got here today and I was like, wait, I can't get that because that's literally all I freaking eat in Europe. Um, so I got a ham, egg, and cheese. Put my eyebrow in it. This is my first bagel since I left. Wait, there was no. I know. There's no bagels over there. How is it? Everything you drink. Wait, wait, wait. Tastes like anything. There's no flavor. Okay, we came to Panini's for lunch. Yeah. Madison got what she thought was gonna be a turkey panini, and it's uh, a wrap. She didn't. She knew it was a wrap. It was under well, the Well, I know, but we thought at first. At first, I thought that I was telling you to get what you got last time. Is it good though? It's okay. Okay. I got the buffalo crunch, always my favorite. Um, I told her no lettuce, but it looks like she also didn't put tomatoes, which is sad. Dad got beef brisket, looks like, right? Pulled pork. Pulled pork. Pulled pork. On a pretzel roll. Is it good? It's actually pretty good. And mom got Santa Fe, yeah. another favorite of mine. graduation day welcome back you guys to what is going to be my last college vlog ever I can't even believe that I am saying that the last three and a half years have just absolutely flown as you guys know I was studying abroad in Florence Italy um, for my final semester and we got back late Thursday evening and it is now Saturday morning in Kent, Ohio. We're ready to rock and roll, graduate, get this degree. I will be graduating as a fashion merchandising student with a minor in fashion media and graduating a semester early. It feels like a really surreal day because I actually got the vlog camera that I'm filming on for my high school graduation specifically because I knew that I wanted to document my college years on camera and be able to have a sort of home movie to look back on and remember my times and I was like you know what I'm gonna post these to YouTube and over the years things have just kind of taken off and I'm sitting here surrounded by 75,000 of you that have joined me throughout my college experience so truly everyone watching this has been here since the very beginning which is even crazier to think so 
truly from the bottom of my heart i want to just extend the biggest thank you i could not do this without you guys and it feels so special to share these milestones with you so yeah it is currently nine o'clock in the morning waiting to be picked up olivia lauren and i will all be graduating um since i haven't been in the united states i've been in italy i just had to grab a dress out of my closet at home so i'm wearing this like strapless little bubble dress from lulu's it's really cute i took some grad photos in this before um leaving for italy I wasn't really planning on wearing it with my gown because I don't think it's like the most flattering dress, but I didn't have time to grab anything else. I've got on white heels. We actually wear a black gown. Um, and then I have two cords for my different honors. I don't have my alpha fee stole. I didn't end up getting one and I'm really regretting it, but it's okay. I am graduating alpha fee alumni. And then my tassel is brown. The fashion merchandising tassel is brown. Yeah, let's have a day. Let's go get the girls. I'm so excited. The cats are chauffeur. <laughs> have you chauffeur. missed? I'm trying not to ball my eyes our out last, again. Our last Bye. college vlog ever. Wow. Fruit Salt is like the That's definition weird. of soccer mom. On <laughs> soccer mom, you brought duty. Snacks. You brought, brought me um, hangover some snacks. setting spray, some snacks. I didn't vlog yesterday, but we did go out and <laughs> have a night. <laughs> I'm going to have the... Lauren, I forgot to say, I'm going to during the ceremony. I'm going to have to run out. Are you kidding? We went to... We drove... Taco Bell. Oh, well, no, we were with you. You went to Taco Bell? No, the line was. Listen to what I got. I, I got out of the cupboard. I ate a thing of cheese puffs, a thing of Cheez Its, a thing of mozzarella balls, <laughs> um, Rice Krispie treats, and a Hershey Kiss <laughs> out oh, of Ainsley's cu Hershey cupboard. Hershey Kiss. Yesterday we were sitting right there, like at a different concert at freshman orientation. It was like literally like September of like our freshman year. They had a concert for like homecoming week, and I literally left like two, like maybe like 20 minutes in because I was like two days post breakup, bawling my eyes out. She and that's Mackenzie. I need you to come meet me so we can walk home together. It was like it was when like, we weren't comfortable walking around yeah. campus yet. Like and I had no campus. I was or... eating a sandwich at Boar's Head. And Olivia was, I was like, I gotta go get Olivia. I'm sorry, guys. I was on the phone. Uh, anyways, all right. Eating goldfish for breakfast the day of graduation. Check. 174th commencement ceremony. My name is Dr. Lamar Hilton. And it is my pleasure to serve as your Senior Vice President for Student Affairs. The ceremony will begin in a few minutes. Please take your seats and silence all cell phones. And then I just went and changed. It is so 
cold here. Like, I forgot how cold it is in Kent. And, and it's wind. Just like, it's, yeah, no, today's it's been brutal. It's snowing. And, and it's just like. It's not a great, <laughs> great season for not, an event. Yeah, not a great graduation weather day. But you know what? It, it's, it is what it is. And so I just changed. I'm wearing a bodysuit and a sweater and then a puffer and then my favorite little Walmart scarf and hat that I wear all the time. Um, but we're about to go buy my alumni sweatshirt. We're all going to match in them and wear them out tonight. Me, Olivia, and Lauren, everyone's families are parting ways to get lunch. So we're going to go eat somewhere. And my camera is flashing the battery. Are you kidding me? The day hasn't even started. It literally feels like yesterday that I was coming to this store to get my first Kent sweatshirt. And now I'm coming to get my alumni sweatshirt. Where does the time go? All right, Liv came yesterday and she got this one. It's like champion. And then it just says Kent State alumni in Navy. And it's like embroidered on there. So I think this is the one I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a large. Officially alumni. I actually think this is like my favorite sweatshirt that I have from Kent. I have a couple and I never wear them, but I wanted to get this one nice and oversized so that I could actually wear it. Yay! Okay, let's go to lunch. Anyways, okay, we're at Three Palms, which is one of, I like coming here. It's a good first date spot. And they have Italian food, which of course I haven't had enough of. So she got, dad got the, Pepper pepperoni. pepperoni. Madison got just basic got cheese basic. pizza because her tummy hurts. And mom and I got the buffalo mozzarella with basil. It, it doesn't look as like buffalo mozzarella -y as normal, so I'm excited to see how it is. I'll be the judge after four months of good pizza. Three Palms was really disappointing today. Well, the food wasn't I bad. The food was very good. The, my food wasn't bad, but compared to. <laughs> Dad just said his food was good, but the service was fucking oh, terrible. Oh, you're, you're vlogging? I that? said. And I lo left my first, like, 15% tip in oh, forever. Wow. Years. I, know. I leave 25% everywhere I said, I said, Dad must be I, <laughs> I left 15. All right. Not even 18. Not even 20. Well. Hold on. I thought that. I <laughs> thought that. I the food going left, right? The yeah, the food wasn't. <laughs> sped up, sped up. <laughs> well, I don't want to get. I thought the food wasn't horrible, but compared to like how much pizza I've had in Italy, it was terrible compared wow. to that. I spent a few hours in my rock of giving him rooms and mirrors, and now we're at Rain. Kids table, parents table over there, and Lauren has convinced me to get my first Long Island lemonade. So I turned 21 after moving after. So I'm getting this yeah, weekend to experience all the yeah, bars for the first time. Yeah, I really enjoyed Long Island. I already had one. Good. It's starting to like, it like, it's like starting to spread. Do anything to your uh, ear, yeah, but they taste good. No, Cheers. I don't know. They don't know how to use it. So anytime there's something fun on Instagram, I just touch it. Love you. Yeah. I figured it out. <laughs> Griffin's poutine fries. Those are insane. I love their quesadilla here and the mac and cheese bites, but they changed them. They used to be that little triangle, remember? Yeah. Lots of us here. Lauren, Lauren, this looks like. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> All right, a little you know, behind the scenes. He pissed me off. A little behind the scenes content. <laughs> It is Sunday morning in Kent and yesterday's vlog was just like not what I expected slash hoped it to be. Um, graduation day is so chaotic and just so many emotions that I don't feel like I accurately was able to capture the day for you guys. So minimal footage from graduation and just in general, um, as I said, a lot of really hard goodbyes off of camera. Um, I'm so lucky to have so many huge milestones documented for you guys, but I would be lying if I said that this weekend was easy. Um, it's been so fun, it's been so different than I expected, and it's just been like the biggest emotional roller coaster I ever imagined. Um, 
when I think it's amplified times 10 coming back from a different country and not seeing a lot of people in the last six months or you know like even since my California chapter so just lots to catch up on and when I was living in Florence a big part of what was getting me through was knowing that I was coming right back here and I was going to get to see everyone all at once. Um, I don't know, it just made home feel like it wasn't so far away. Rocco picked me up from the airport on Thursday and he was the first person I saw in America and he was like, I can't imagine like what it feels like right now for you to like be back here um, and just like in Kent first and I said to him I was like it feels like I just got a piece of my heart back like it literally feels like I left part of my heart here and like now it feels like a little bit fuller you know and if study abroad taught me anything it's that your heart can be a lot of places at once and i was so so lucky to be leaving a huge piece of mine here and i know that friends can keep up and i can always come back and all these other things but my biggest like worry i guess and like nerve as i enter this post-grad season is just like, when am I going to see these people, you know? Like, there's no definitive answer. And I know, believe me, that I can plan trips and we're going to visit each other in new cities and it's going to be so fun. But... It's just different, you know? And it's so weird to think that we're not all just going to be sitting on a couch together, hungover, going on a walk to get a hash brown. Like... And I know that life is about to be even better and it might get worse first but like I do know that greatness is out there but I think very few people are lucky enough to have the college experience that I did I recognize that um, I like really couldn't have asked for a better three and a half years here and like, I just wish I could talk to that girl who visited here and be like, you're gonna be so great. You're gonna be so, so, so great. <sighs> so, yeah. I don't know, I'm just like feeling every emotion this morning. I don't know if I said it's Sunday morning. Um, I don't even know how many dom bombs I took last night and I don't want to know. Um, feeling rocky this morning, but Emily's parents are coming up for morning so that we can get brunch with her family and then we are going to hop on the road and drive the five hours home. But just wow. I met so many people um, this weekend being here that watched my videos or discovered Kent, toured Kent, decided to come to Kent um, with some influence of me and I want you to know how much that means. Um, I started all this really just to play this back one day but to think that I could change the trajectory of someone's life is just, I'll never wrap my head around it. I will never, ever, ever be able to comprehend how special that is. Because if how I feel right now is even a fraction of how someone else might feel when they leave here, then I know I've done my job a hundred times over because this is the most gut-wrenching like I, I know that sounds dramatic but like this is the most gut-wrenching goodbye I think anyone will ever do so thank you truly from the bottom of my heart you guys for being here with me I like I wouldn't be the person I am today without this camera without you guys and it's changed my whole life 
I'm about to be full time style by and the day I came to college like I didn't even have a hundred subscribers you know so cheers to you Ken and cheers to really just the most incredible ride um, I love you guys I promise I'm still gonna be vlogging it's not like I'm going anywhere um, I'm gonna go home for a little bit I'm gonna be doing a little bit of traveling still gonna be looking for a lease in California um, I don't really know what's next but I hope that you guys are gonna stick around and not my like biggest fear is that I'm gonna leave college and you guys are gonna be like okay like I'm over it I'm over her so if you choose to stick with me thank you but if this is our goodbye, it's been wonderful having you.